All right, welcome back to the course. So right now I have the lab notebook out and I'm gonna kind of walk you through really what the first steps are um, to putting your idea onto their paper. Now, ideally what you should have is you should have your scope document open um, and next to you, and I usually would pull that up on the computer over here, just so I can look up and see if I'm missing anything. Well, keep in mind, it's a scope document, so you're not gonna be putting in every single feature because we're doing the structure. And the structure is more just roughly like where landing page text should go, where is the welcome headline, um, roughly where the contact us, what columns should we be using, things like that. This is really the least sophisticated version of it possible. Now, I'm using a pen. Um, that's because I, you know, like to live on the edge and I like to use things that are permanent, but it also means that I end up throwing paper away all the time. I suggest using a pencil personally and then going over it with the pen. Um, because with a pencil, if you make a funky edge, you can just go over it. But then again, guys, it just really doesn't matter as long as you can understand it. And as long as you show it to someone, they can understand it. So let's say that we are making a web project and I typically will like to label up at the top whatever it is and then say something like um, whatever page it is. So we can just say web project number one and we'll just say home page. Okay, um, and that's just to remind me of what it is that I'm doodling on. Um, again, typically what I would do is I would put a uh, copy over here and I would just draw over here to mark out my thoughts. Um, now, the easiest thing to start with by far um, is you're looking at this page and you're like, I don't have no idea what to do, where do I even start? So the first thing to do would be to decide what you're making, web or mobile, if it's web or mobile, draw the bounding boxes. Um, if you're doing mobile, I suggest using the templates, but if you're drawing web, just draw a browser around and try to make it look as roughly what you remember a browser looking like. That'll help you kind of get it in the mood to understand, oh, right, this is what it's going to look like inside a browser. So I would just draw a, a rectangle. Um, give yourself a little more space. Don't worry about proportionality. Um, the resolution, you'll deal with that later. Okay, as you can tell, the uh, the boundaries don't even really help me that much, but you can only imagine how bad that would be if I was doing it on a, an ungridded page. Um, and then I'll just pretend that it's like a browser. We'll pretend this is Chrome. I'm someone that has tons and tons of tabs open all the time. Um, and we'll put the search bar right here. Search bar, and then they have icons. Um, and they usually have a bottom bar. Okay, so there we go. Now we have a very, very basic um, image of a web browser. Uh, now it's helpful because now I know whatever I'm drawing is going to be occurring in this space. 